Hello, I've been thrifting for the past year and I've been collating my perfect wardrobe so I thought I'd share all the pieces I've gotten in the past year from the thrift store. Buckle up because there are many pieces to show you, so... Should we start? This is like my most recent purchase. We're not going in any order actually, but look at this bag can we just it is a beautiful red ri2k i hadn't heard this brand before but i love all the stitching and the buckles is just so cute red is very much in for the accessories so i had to had to grab this it was 20 dollars. also i got this bag I actually I actually got this for my birthday but it was thrifted which honestly is the coolest gift you could ever get me um look at how gorgeous this is it is a brown leather bag i don't know what the real brand is but i wore this all the time in melbourne it's so pretty i love the color of it it's the perfect size it actually fits so much and there's like so many like zips and pockets and all the good things what more could you ask for anyway these are my two favorite bags at the moment moving swiftly on to pants very controversial pick very controversial pick very controversial. <laughs> Very controversial. <laughs> I love them. You gotta be bold when you're wearing them, for me at least. I can't just like pull it out every day. But I do like when I wear them. I feel like it. I feel I feel cool. Also, if you go back to a lot of my vlogs this past year, I have actually showed you these pieces like in my vlog. So so definitely check those out if you want to see the origin of me buying these pieces. Five dollars. They're a bit big, so you've got to wear a belt usually unless you want them to be really low rise, but love them nonetheless. Also on the same kind of trip, I got these black jeans. They were like $3 and I love the like acid wash of these and the brown stitching. I just love this from Rivers originally. Oh, this, I did a bit of a DIY moment to them. So this is a green khaki skirt and these are one of the pieces. I don't always do this, like walking into a thrift store having a game plan. I usually just like, you know, sift through the items, but I've really been wanting a skirt, like colored denim skirt. And this, this like khaki color specifically. And I'm so glad I waited to find the perfect one. It was literally $2, but actually it wasn't perfect because it went so long, but I saw the potential in it. I like cut it and then like hemmed it. If you can see, it's like not the best, best job, but it's all right. It's got really cute little pockets on the back and I'm very proud, $2 skirt more skirts okay this one is so cute oh okay i'm in the darkness now <laughs> but how pretty beautiful lace it does sit kind of high on my waist which is not like normal for my pieces that i like tend to wear but i will let it slide for this gorgeous number you can never go wrong with a white skirt honestly i'll wear this so incredibly much oh it's very wrinkly don't mind that please it is originally from meredith don't really know love the fabric of this i've been obsessed with this fabric i'm pretty sure it's capro or cupro and look how gorgeous that says don't mind the <laughs> crinkles on it but this skirt i don't know how i feel about it like it's cute and i've worn it a couple times but like i don't know We'll see if I keep it. It is a beautiful blue and white skirt. Like it is a gorgeous skirt, but I just don't know how to style it. So let me know if you have any tips, but it's got a beautiful like scrunch waistband and then it just like puffs out. I think the main issue with it for me is like the length of it. I don't know, it's hard to, hard to style. But anyway, it's gorgeous nonetheless. I feel like it's very ethereal, the pattern of it, the, the way it moves. Moving on to some dresses. This, oh my god, this is probably my favorite thing I've gotten in so long. I got it for $20. It's just like the most beautiful flower pattern. It's from Guava. I wore it for Christmas and I just love it. And the little little tie there. I love the like style of these kind of dresses. They're like super easy to wear, slip kind of fit. I also love the cut, like a triangle cut for me is just like my absolute fave. This is another piece that I've been wanting forever. Like I've had pinned on my Pinterest, my Depop, like any 
any place I could pin this, I have. And it's like more than I could have asked for. It's got cute little buttons down the front. And again, it kind of comes into a V shape. Got cute little arms and it's like full length. This originally from Nobody's Child. And I can just imagine wearing this in Europe, living my best life. Fun pattern dresses you just cannot go wrong with. Like it's so easy to wear. You just put on the dress and you look so stylish, but you're really doing the bare minimum. Now moving on to jumpers and then we'll do tops and then accessories, okay? Great. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty bad at getting jumpers. I just never like am drawn to them, but I have been trying. So here we go. <laughs> this is just like a nice knitwear jumper. Something I love about this hat is how it like the wing span or like, I don't know how it kind of is wide here. It just fits really nicely. So simple, such a good basic to have. They can literally wear with everything. This is very chill, like it's nothing too stylish, but I have worn it so much since I've gotten it. Buying this, I didn't really know much about this, but still don't really, but it's like a disease prevention thing. So I don't really buy it for that. I just bought it for how comfy it was. Um, this is just like a really nice, solid puffer. How freaking gorge is this? I got this for $30. It's really nice and warm. And that's all you need, so. Oh my gosh, this is the funniest thing. So, the same place that I got the puffer, I tried this on and I did really like it and I've been wanting kind of a trench coat thing. So I tried it on and I was like showing my friends and I'm like, I can't really get both. I kind of feel like that's excessive. And they're like, yeah, I think you should get the puffer. They're like, oh, you can totally get this at like best and less. And then I look at the inside, I go like this. And I'm like, hmm, that looks kind of fancy. And the brand's Goodwin Charlie. Don't really know. Amy looks it up and all the jackets are like $1,500. And I'm like, that is outrageous, but I will take it for $50. <laughs> um, anyway, it fits really nicely, actually. As I said, I really do need a trench. So it's kind of got some like shoulder padding, which is kind of weird, but kind of love it also. Like, okay, sure. Whoever was pricing that did not know what they were dealing with but that's why i'm i'm not complaining i also got some leggings which i don't really ever buy leggings i feel like i don't like how i look in them but i got these and they're pretty chill just black full length leggings there from everlast and they're really comfy and yeah there's not much more to them <laughs> oh my gosh I also got these red shorts they're from adidas similar with the jorts like you gotta feel bold to wear them but I love them nonetheless. You just like roll them up once and they're really cute. I actually, you know what I do really want is like these, but tracksuit form. How good would that be? But I have not been successful finding those. But anyway, still love these so much. Gotta, gotta style them, I think. Make some outfits and make it more wearable, you know? Now on to little cute tops. And this like my favorite, favorite things to buy because who wouldn't want to just like buy cute tops anyway this first one is a bodysuit which is actually so random for me but I love it it's so comfortable originally from Kukai which is such a good brand from Australia I think it's only in Australia um, but I love this like burnt orange color I wish there was more out there in this color like I love it so much anyway very easy to like lay or just like put on with basic outfit for some reason, you can never do with enough white tops. So here's one. It's so pretty. The beautiful lace and this cute little beading on them. I just, I just can't. And it's kind of a longer, longer fit, which I like. It adds a bit of a different fit to it. I'll definitely be wearing this all summer long. Any piece that makes me feel like a fairy, like, buy, purchase in my closet, I'll wear today. <laughs> This next piece, I haven't worn that many times, but when I do, I love it. So I need to, I need to pull it out more often. It's a gorgeous, like, crochet kind of knit white long sleeve top. I wore it for my birthday last year for, like, Daisy Jones um, 70s theme. And I feel like it was perfect for that. But I think it could be a great beach cover up. So you can have a bit of your bikini coming through. But I just love the, like, tassels. It's just, it's just so fun. Like, I feel like I haven't seen many other tops like this, but so cute. That is one thing I love about thrifting is you really get unique pieces. Like, you can be inspired by, you know, things you see online or 
whatever but the fun thing about thrifting is you have to like take your own spin because you don't have all the options i think it gives you room to be creative so that's my two cents on that i love this blue little knit cardigan why don't i just put it on right now it's cute it's a bit itchy but we can we can move past that it's got a tie here but i don't know where the tie went on this side which is really sad because it was really cute when you could like pin it up there i gotta gotta work something out there and look how pretty that color is it's just like the perfect kind of mesh blue gorgeousness this is a fun going out top like it's got beautiful like gold sequins cute little psychedelic kind of pattern and it's a beautiful brown color and it's so flattering with the v once again this is actually one of my favorite pieces because i've just worn it so much it's so easy again with the polka dot i love it i can't get enough of it um it is a beautiful black and white polka dot it's a tie up so you can't really see just me holding it up but hopefully you can see better in the try on it's originally from portman i feel like you get a lot of portmans at the thrift store but anyway there's one piece to me that you can literally wear with everything like it's so versatile that's why i love it anyway this is actually kind of similar to the bodysuit color it's like the burnt orangey red color this is so flattering it's like it's something about this kind of like stitching pattern that that makes it so flattering i don't know what it is but sign me up because it's so cute it's originally from martha francois mm, we're not even gonna, <laughs> we're not even gonna try that's why I want to be buying more often. It's beautiful color, very flattering, but like super simple, everything else, you know? This is cute. I, yeah, no, I have worn this, but I got to wear it more often. It's a beautiful like black lace. It's like very see-through as you can see. Obviously you got to put something under this. Oh my God. I think this is last top, but this is like one of my favorite pieces because it is so comfortable and so flattering. It's so basic, but those are the things I love so much because you wear them all the time it does have cutouts at the side which is like my one turn off for this because where the cut starts is kind of too high so it kind of just like is wide i don't know something weird about that but whatever oh my god these buttons make up for any any bad thing about them because how cute now to some fun accessories to end off this video hopefully you've been enjoying i got this cute little <laughs> I feel like a mushroom, I won't lie, but it's so cute. It's just like a burnt orange. I'm pretty sure the material is mohair. As I said earlier on in this video, I feel like accessories are so important to kind of focus on because you can put them with every outfit. So definitely we'll be wearing this all the time and wore it so much in Melbourne when I got it. This I got for $250, which is so random getting a beanie, but like I couldn't stop myself. I love the color actually don't know how cute it looks on me but we're gonna move past that oh and then jewelry which i don't really buy jewelry but i got this this is so ugly i don't know why i got it i'm gonna probably get rid of it but little choke i truly don't know what possessed me when i bought this and then these earrings which i also haven't worn so I'm, I, I don't think i'm a very good jewelry thrift buyer so anyone have any tips please let me know um they're pretty cute but like not really are they oh i got these earrings these i also got from a friend but they're so pretty kind of love a statement once in a while for an earring so cute but they are kind of heavy so you can't wear them for too long and we'll be taking them off as soon as i stop recording how could i think at this gorgeous pink belt and look at the little gems it just makes me so happy it's like very much broken on the inside but you can't really tell when it's just looking like this i love it so much and it just kind of spices up an outfit this video definitely took me back to all the times that i've bought these things because it's been a while for some of these pieces but anyway i hope you enjoyed i love you so much and i will see you in my next one very shortly if you want to see a video of me styling these clothes i think i i want to do that i think that could be fun because like doing a haul is nice to like show the pieces but actually like showing how to wear them i think it's very important so anyway let me know if you want to see that